Of course, we do expect more development as we go into the next couple of weeks and going into September. That's when we get into the peak September 10th. Of course, we're kind of in the middle of August, so really climatology speaking, August 20th is when hurricane season really gets going, so we're not quite there yet. And then you remain pretty active as you go throughout September. Even parts of October are pretty active as well. Now that's not the story uh, in the Pacific. Look at this. They've got four areas they're monitoring. Uh, you've got Alita, which has been a hurricane at one point. It moved into cooler waters. It has dissipated. You've got an area here. You've got an area here. You've got an area there. So of course, none of these are going to be an issue for us, but it shows you how active the Pacific is at the moment. And we're going to be watching that because all these patterns are tied together, right? Now something we'll be watching. It's called the Madden Julian Oscillation. It's just a global pattern that travels around the globe weeks at a time. And it's interesting because the current phase we're seeing over the the Pacific is called the active phase. Notice that's where I just showed you all those storms were. We're currently in a suppressed phase in the Atlantic. This means it's more difficult for cyclones to really maintain themselves. However, this does travel towards the east, so naturally we do expect this active phase to get more into the Atlantic as we go into late August and kind of going through September. So that coupled with what climatology tells us with hurricane season peaking. This is a recipe for a pretty active late August going into September. Now, of course, it's hard to say exactly where storms will form, where they'll go, things like that. But overall, the pattern does show that we're probably going to see a pretty active late August into September. And just that reminder that, yes, you do need to have your hurricane plan just in case.